Hello everyone, this is NEI 500 at PDAC 2023. Today is second day and I'm here with William from Encore Energy. Hi William, it's nice Hi. to see you today. Thank you for having us. So can you start off by giving us a quick overview of Encore Energy? Sure, Encore Energy is a US uranium uh, company on the verge of production. We'll have uh, actually uranium production in uh, the third quarter this year uh, from our first uh, in situ plant. We're 100% devoted to uh, uranium extraction and production in the United States. Uh, not so much from mining, but through the in situ process where we inject oxygenated water into the ground, dissolve the uranium, pump it to the surface, and then recover the uranium through a water treatment plant. Great. So let's talk about the recent closing of the Alta Mesa acquisition from Energy Fuse uh, Incorporation. How do you position yourself after the acquisition and what's the significance of this transaction? Well, it really is a transformational transaction for us and the, the, probably the third one in our uh, a renaissance since 2019, once we saw the uranium market tightening and, and actually changing to a, a very positive situation. Uh, Alta Mesa being the biggest, it will be the second uh, project into production. It's very long lived and a very, very large land position. 200,000 acres of private land right in the center of the Texas Mineral Belt, which is one of the more prolific uranium producing areas in the United States. We believe we'll be the first to production this year uh, in quarter three with the Rosita plant. But the big plant is Alta Mesa, as you mentioned, our recent acquisition, and that's uh, much larger, more than two times the capacity and uh, much longer lived and with this 200,000 acres of private mineral rights. And you'll see that come into production in the first quarter of 2024. And uh, that uh, is, is a real keystone in terms of our corporate goal of getting to uh, 3 million pounds a year production over the course of the next three years. So that's an annual rate, 3 million pounds. Amazing. So let's talk about, there's this exciting news that your company is now listed on the NYSE American Stock Exchange. What is the significance of this milestone? Well, the NYSE uh, Amex listing gives us access to the deepest pool of capital in the world. Uh, that being the uh, United States currently, especially with the focus that we have on domestic production of uranium and in, in the world's largest consumer of uranium, the United States. Uh, many of the institutional funds are energy focused. Uh, we are energy focused, as I say, not a mining company, but energy company. And uh, with the result of having the U.S. listing, all those doors are open to that uh, very large pool of capital. And we're fulfilling a, a critical domestic need by providing a, a commodity that now we're uh, reliant upon Russia for. I see. So investors have been waiting for Uranium's next bull run. Do you think this time is finally arriving? I do, and at the same time, I want to characterize it very differently than the last uh, miniature bull run we had, 2005 to 2008, and that was a, a supply crisis. And what we had was three or four of the top mines in the world had floods or other interruptions of their production, which endangered their contracts to the utilities. So the utilities went out and started buying in the spot market, made the price run up. Financial entities followed in on their heels and drove the price to $140 a pound from about 20 when it started. Then, of course, it fell right off after Fukushima. But uh, what we have here is a completely different situation. There's no supply interruption, but there's a significant demand increase. And the demand increase is something we haven't seen since 1979, really, after, after Three Mile Island. And what we see here is just the resumption of that tremendous growth trend, led obviously by China. They're building nuclear plants right and left. The U.S. Has, has actually commissioned its first new one in 20 years, and another one will be coming on within the next 6 to eight, 12 months. Those are in Georgia. Uh, and then you also see extensive growth in the Mideast, uh, a bit in South America, but all through Eastern Europe as well. And so we're seeing a huge increase in demand. On top of that, we have the uh, nuclear uh, small modular reactors coming for the small scale power, which is a whole other level of consumption. And all of this set against a supply imbalance. We're, we're 60 million pounds a year short in the world. As I mentioned, 47 of that, the bulk of it's in the US. And so it's a, an ideal time to be there, but what we're gonna have is a much healthier, longer term opportunity to really build a business as opposed to a spike where it's over. Now, if certain things will make it spike or, or go down a bit during that time, primary uh, concern would of course be the Ukrainian situation with Russia. If uh, the EU were to cut off Russia or Russia were to cut off the West, we could get a big spike in uranium. Otherwise, we see a nice 6 to 8% gain every year for the next decade or two. That's very exciting. So can you tell us who are your major shareholders? We have uh, international holdings, primarily institutional. We do have a, a bit of retail holding. 
Um, we have uh, uh, roughly half of our shareholders are in uh, Canada and Europe and uh, probably 15, 20 percent, uh, something on that order in, in uh, Asia. And uh, then, uh, of course, uh, in the high 40s in the U.S. Now, with the U.S. listing, we'll see that shifting over to, to more funds in the U.S. But uh, as of now, that's where we stand. I see. So my last question for you is why should investors choose your company and do you have a special message to the investors? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think the main thing is, is that we have uh, the premier team dealing with an environmentally friendly extraction method in situ mining. Again, no open pits, no underground, no tailings, no, no, no mill facility. It's all plumbing and pipes, very much like the oil and gas industry. And, and we'll be the first, the, the first mover advantage. Being the first in the uh, U.S. to be producing and meeting that need will be critical. And we already have four contracts in place. So with the experienced team, the permitted properties, 30% of the U.S. capacity in terms of the number of plants, uh, we, we look to be a leader for many years in the industry. And I would uh, invite uh, our listeners to our website where we have a, a very informative nuclear energy video that uh, is uh, got many different languages, including Cantonese and uh, uh, Mandarin as well. Great. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here with me, William. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.